Hi. Hello everyone. This is Pavan Devakunda talking about Ansible data types list. In this one, we are going to create a playbook and here we are going to target the host. We can pass it at the time of execution as an environment variable. Otherwise, you can pass it as a default value. Local host we can give here. Let's uh, pass it in the single quotations local host and uh, make sure this should be within the single quotation and rounded brackets closed and at the end double floor brackets close gathering facts is not required so I'm moving on that and then we are going to write some task Ansible playbook requires a couple of tasks so here the section starts here task so when you are going to write the task, uh, list of tasks you can add or single task. So here we are going to have a one task that is going to use the list item how we can use. The idea here is uh, to create users on a Linux machine. So we are targeting this machine where we are writing this playbook. So the user creation is very simple. We can use the Ansible module called user and uh, user module is going to take some parameters the first one is name name for the users um, that should be keep on changing from the list so that is what the idea so the item should be automatically substituted when we are going to pass an array or list to this particular variable value so key is name and value is coming in the uh, passing parameter and that is going to be item here to refer that one and we can close this and uh, we can have the uh, status so the next attribute is uh, how you want to uh, make this user so user present is a requirement so we can just give the attribute uh, status status colon and then the value should be present um, let's type present over here then loop so the loop loop uh, is going to used here to pass the list and uh, the list is going to substitute the item on the above so let's see here how we can pass it so whenever you start a new list item we have to use that dash that is the most important thing the dash indicates a list item so let us add Krishna Jangir um, Abhi, Mahesh, Maheshwari and uh, finally me, Pawan. So these are the users, uh, totally five users we have in the list and these are list items are going to be added to the current uh, system, the Linux system. So this is the overall idea here. So let us go on and uh, yeah, here uh, I think we need to enclose within the double quotes uh, host uh, that is if you miss this one it won't work so let us put into the double course then this is looks good syntax is good let's save this file colon x or colon w q and now i'm going to run this ansible playbook ansible playbook and then playbook name so loop is yaml file is having some trouble okay so what is the error here you can see um, it is saying something lock lock uh, means prior permissions are missing or uh, pseudo permissions are not there maybe um, let us try with the command line option that is uh, where we can use the idea like uh, hyphen k so when you use the hyphen k then it will uh, use the become become true for the execution of the sensible playbook let us try that one. Oh, i think it is asking password let me enter the password for the ansible user oh no this is not working as expected then what is the next option okay let us go into the playbook and uh, let's try that idea new idea is become true we want then that should be added to the playbook on the top so playbook beginning we can add this one before the gather facts or after the gather facts anything is fine 
so become true is added here and let us save it and run it again let us run it without iphone k right okay so now this time it is working yes all changes are happened five changes we can see here and all of them are belongs to the user changes all right let us see the password file and you can see the last bottom all the users just now added five users to this user list that is in the password is it funny interesting let's jump into this ansible dictionary so if you look at the password file it is having thousand thousand one thousand two like this these are all user ids uids so let us give the username and user id also as per the requirements for the project if you want to give a separate uh, user ids then how we can modify let's go into the vi and edit this same file again and let us see how yes um, now this time uh, the list we want to change that to a dictionary that is the idea so list converting to the dictionary the playbook can be same playbook same logic but only thing the module is same user module we are going to use here but in place of that loop uh, iterating with the list items every item is going to work with the two things one is uh, username another one with the user id so we will modify accordingly and let us create the users on the different uh, target this time so maybe we can target to the another machine where we have uh, linux machines available in the inventory so let us add the name and then uid so this is another item uh, that is going to be added from the bottom uh, list of items which is going to have key and values so dictionary structure is going to work with the key and value so first one is name second one is uid so these are the things we want to add two items for each uh, dictionary item so Krishna is a one user uh, he's a name that is a username and uh, let us define um, the value for Krishna user the UID we want to add in the next line and uh, let us try that UID colon and we want to give the number as 5000 you can give any number I'm just giving the standard uh, four digit number so um uh, it is not restricting or uh, yeah so we can go with the any options right the structure is same your name and uid should be added for all the users and then how that is going to pass it to the user module that is already we defined above and we are just setting up the items uh, the list of uh, key value pairs and uh, that will be a dictionary right so creation of dictionary is very simple we are directly passing to this uh, loop and uh, loop is accessing that uh, dictionary items item dot uh, that particular key and that key whenever you referring that is going to get the value of that what you have defined in the right side in the bottom all right all done and we have all the five users dictionary is ready so save this file and uh, let's try that execution okay check now let us execute the ansible playbook ansible iphone playbook and give the name of the playbook and then 
this is a dictionary so we are going to pass that target as a other remote node here so if and e is going to pass it as an environment variable and uh, you can give n number of uh, hosts also if you want to do it for a hundred uh, boxes you want to create all the developers then this is a very useful very simple easy to build a users dictionary and try to push it so here is a node one and you can see the remote box is also having the users and you can see the difference 